Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to the best day trading and investing channel on YouTube. I am your host Carter. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about float and how you can kind of um, use the Thinkorswim platform to get a good gauge and if you are trading low float stocks. So pretty much any low float stock is any stock really under 10 million, but some people clarify it under 20. You know, anything under 20 you can get by with uh, with ease. You know, anything over that, it just gets a little more riskier and the follow through for the strategy I use isn't as strong. Now, pretty much as you guys can see on the um, upper left here, we have one of our watch lists. It is actually a um, scanner that you can run. Now, you might be thinking, um, how, how did I get this shares column up? So this is the shares available to trade. Now, pretty much these the stock and these stocks, think our swim does um, overestimate its shares. So this is kind of on the higher end of it. So looking at it, you can see that VALE has the highest shares available and also the highest volume. Because that's expected. This is the ticker up here. But if you look at all the um, stocks were, that were moving today, let's pull, let's, let's add the um, percent change in here just so you guys can see it. So let's click OK. You can see that G or JAX, uh, J A G X, only had um, roughly 1,500,000 shares available and almost 8 million shares traded. So just by looking at this stock, you can get a good idea of this stock had a lot of um, buying power, it had a lot of people looking at it, and it did have a lower float. So this is just how I really use Thinkorswim to kind of filter out the float and get a good estimate if I'm trading low float stock. So it's super simple of how to set it up. All you gotta do is you gotta bump out this tab so if your uh, chart's like this, you got to just bump this out. You got to go down to watch list. Click watch list. Have the watch list pop up. Here, let's remove some of these so you guys can see. Let's remove this one as well. So this one popped up. Now let's make sure that we are on the watch list we want. We can just go to a personal one. Let's go um, watch list. Or that's just, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, I think I just clicked on a random one. But uh, let's go gap up market hours. All right, so now this one's up. So this is this could be a scanner that you're running. This could be pretty much anything that you're running. So all you got to do is you click this little gear, I, gear icon. This is the settings here. You click this. You click customize. And then you get all of these um, little criteria tabs and, you know, just kind of, um, information that you can get. I like to remove or re remove all of them except the symbol, and then I want to add the volume because that's crucial. I want to add, and then instead of typing in float because obviously they don't have one, you gotta type in shares, and then there it is. Boom, 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 and then you can uh, put in percent change if you want. That's a very common one. Whoops. Um, and then all you gotta do is click OK, and then boom. So just by doing a quick look, this stock is up 19%, does have a little lower volume, and a little higher share. So looking at it, I can tell you right now that the follow, the follow through on this stock would not be as strong as compared to a lot of the other popular stocks like GAGX that was moving today. Um, so let's make this so we can pull it up here. So like I said, lower volume, we knew that. That's why we have a lot of these little um, white dots here. If you look close, this is just low volume coming in. You know, that's expected. And it does have a little higher float, which is why it is a little cheaper. Um, and you can kind of just get a good gauge on how to uh, really use this um, quick tool on how to get a good grasp on a stock before you actually trade it. And you don't have to spend hundreds of dollars and uh, get premier scanners to use it. This is just a free scanner on the Thinkorswim platform. So if you guys have any questions, please sure to drop a comment down below. 
Uh, quick video today. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive. We'll see you guys tomorrow in another episode. If you guys enjoyed this video, please sure to drop a huge like on it and subscribe to the channel. Uh, all right, take care.